Hello friends and welcome to Learn Easy. This is Tushar Gupta here and in this video we are going to study the characteristics of chemical reactions. So in the previous video I had the discussion on chemical reactions and how to write a chemical equation. So if you have not seen that video yet please go and check it out because that has information regarding all those things. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to it because you will get regular study stuff if you subscribe and please press the bell icon uh, just uh, along with the subscribe button so that you never miss an update from me so let's start characteristics of chemical reactions we have five major points to know that a chemical reaction has taken place and they are chemical reactions we get to know that chemical reaction has taken place by knowing by checking out whether these either of these five things has happened or not the very first thing that we check is the change in temperature that is the temperature of the reactants or this product has as it changed the second thing that we check is change in color that is the color changed then is the time to check the change in physical state then there is a check that is the uh, the uh, gas evolved gas evolution and then we check is there a precipitate formed So these were the five major things that we look we have to look whenever we are talking about that a chemical reaction has taken place or not. So the very first thing that we check is the change in temperature that is the temperature of the things changed. So for this we would we would be having the uh, reactions and equations both. So let's have examples change in temperature. It is of two types, the reactions. Endothermic and exothermic reactions. That is, if the, the heat would be required. That is, we would need to put some energy into the things that is it would the test tube or the container in which the reaction is taking place it would get cooler or it would need it it would need some external source of energy to get mixed or something like that and exothermic that uh, some uh, heat evolved or the temperature is raised the net temperature has risen so for ex endothermic we could have barium hydroxide reacting with ammonium chloride to form barium chloride and ammonium hydroxide so this whenever we are having this reaction taking place the test tube would become relative cooler fine so the test tube when we are doing this reaction would become cooler and for exothermic reaction that is the evolvement of heat we could we could have an example of calcium oxide reacting with water to form calcium hydroxide so this is an exothermic reaction as well as a, a combination reaction which we would be learning about further in the class in the lectures so the next thing that we have to check is the change in color that is the change is is the color of the substances change so change in color so for this we could have an example of lead nitrate reacting with potassium iodide to form lead iodide and potassium nitrate so lead nitrate lead iodide it is yellow colored substance and it is 
a precipitate so we could say that a change in uh, that is the reaction of lead nitrate and uh, potassium iodide is showing two characteristics that is change in color as well as the formation of a precipitate fine so this was th that example of change in color change in physical state yes, we could have the perfect example of burning of wax so wax is a hydrocarbon that it is formed from it is a compound of hydrogen and carbon so uh, uh, whenever we burn wax whenever we burn candles so what happens the change uh, the wax the candle is like this we lit the candle what happens the flame comes still here and then the surface wax what happens it gets heated and then solid changes to liquid a solid wax changes to liquid wax and then that liquid wax changes to gas so that is the change in physical state so now we have gas evolution that is there a gas evolved so for this the perfect example is the reaction of zinc with hydrogen sulfate or sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and to evolve hydrogen gas this upward arrow is the symbol for the evolution of gas as we would be looking further as to write chemical more informative chemical equations now precipitate formation the easiest one precipitate formation for this we have the best example and the most common one example that is the reaction of barium chloride with sodium sulfate from the precipitate of barium sulfate and sodium chloride this reaction is a skeletal reaction equation and if we put two here sodium chloride with sodium chloride it would become a balanced chemical equation so this is the precipitate formation reaction where barium sulfate is the precipitate so this was the topic characteristics of chemical reactions and thank you for watching this video if you like this video please pr uh, pr uh, press the bell uh, press the like button and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from me that is tushar gupta and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to it and comment how the video was thank you